Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and I welcome you back if you're part of the Paperless Movement already and I welcome you if you are new to this channel. This is a Ask Tom video which will be released each Wednesday where I will answer all your questions you have. So this one is a very interesting um, episode I'm doing here because I'm actually answering a question that comes up several times in the Paperless Movement Facebook group and also in the comments on YouTube and I also saw it on once on Twitter. So the question is or the complaint was Notability has the worst shape tool you can have in a note-taking app. Okay, we opened here an uh, empty note, okay? And I totally understand why people are complaining about the shape tool. So usually they go into plus and there you have the figure tool and that's what the people are complaining. A new win window opens and now you have the chance to choose here a square and draw the square and then a circle and then you maybe can add some text and so on. So I totally understand that this is already annoying being in a different window because you don't have the relation to your node anymore. And if you press done, it inserts it as a, as a post-it, okay? So you can add captions like you would add it as a, as a um, picture. So I totally get that this is not good. So why do I still say Notability got the best shaping tool, okay? The trick is you just have to drag and hold and then it becomes a straight line. It's as easy as that. What you can't draw are circles. Okay, but never mind. You still have the option to go into the figure thing. It could be better. So if you compare it to good notes again, we can draw easily um, circles in there, see perfect circles and ellipse. So that's missing, I agree with that. But why I think the method they are doing here with the straight line and holding it is so great, I tell you now. Because you have the chance to draw it and then it even snaps to 90 degrees, okay? But if you change this to grid, for example, to a grid paper, let's make a big grid and make a new side, you can actually draw and it will snap to the grid. Okay, we make this a bit thick, thicker so you can really see it in maybe a different color. So we draw it again and you see it sticks to the grid. So this way I can draw perfect shapes and that's not possible in good notes or in, in any other app i know so far so it even snaps if i'm holding it it even it even snaps to the angle okay so if you go through this whole thing it will snap there and did you see this it connects the corners okay and once you have this it even snaps to your line you already drew see so this way i really can so this way i really can draw perfect shapes so this is amazing okay but this video would be a bit short isn't it but once you have this keyboard open you might see already that i have additional uh, icons if you press and hold here this opens and you can have additional icons here so for example, you can drag and drop just uh, this agenda bullet things uh, in here and then we go here and then we press this button or you have to you have to done and then we press this and we have one and then we can tap we have a b two a b c and then even more which is actually the same thing as here. You can choose these, this stuff here as well, okay? But I just wanted to let you know that when you press and hold this, this comes up and you can, for example, use this 
and this, which just is a helper to go in the text forward. So let's go there and just zoom in that you see it better. So you can go through your work. Here's another hint, which is not notably only. You can do it in any app. Once you have this, um, once you have this digital keyboard open, just use two fingers, put them on your keyboard, and then you can go around. So you see the the typing icon, the the type, the typing cursor. So I can go wherever I want, and that's the fastest way to navigate in your text. As you know, I released the ebook, and in this ebook, I also included these tips I'm telling you here. So even if we do new Ask Tom videos, these new tips will be included in the ebook. And due to your lifetime updates, if you bought the ebook, you will get these infos updated in this ebook as well, and you have it at hand. So that's just some mention in between. Okay, so let's carry on. What else? Another thing is, if you scroll up, you see the icon from Notability. If you press and hold the icon, it will open. I think this is the area, the desktop area on your iCloud. So whatever you put on your desktop, it will appear here. So at least uh, some of these files, and then you can just press on it. And then you can make create a new node and choose the pages you want as you would import in PDF and it imports it as a PDF. But you also have the chance to import um, other files like a text file and you can create a new node from a text file as well and it will import all the text yeah, you had in this file. So if you wrote something on a different app or something like this, just put it on your desktop on the iCloud and you are able to import it here. So that's something um, might be you, you, you haven't been aware of. Another thing is I want to show you, if you open the browser next to Notability, you open a new tab and we put in a, a random <laughs> website, okay, paperlessmovement.com, and you want to save this in your notes, no problem at all. Just tap on it and then press and hold it and then you can move it just over into Notability and then it will be inserted as text. And the thing is now, if you close the tab, or I'll close the whole thing, this text will become a clickable hyperlink. And that's awesome! So we can open it up in Safari and there you go. Did you know that? One more thing, talking about hyperlinks, it is even better. Just use your pen and write down moment.com and now with new convert to text uh, tool, you can just um, convert it to text. So here, I just want to show you that I wrote Bad. I wrote really bad. I expected it won't work, but I want to show you the comparison to good notes where you see this window as well. You can't change the text before importing. If you have a long text, you have to import all this and then you can change the text. In Notability, you can actually change the text before you import it. And here again, with two fingers, I can just move around to the position I want to be, which is actually in the end, and put in com. And that's it, convert selection. And there you go. And now you can open it in Safari as well. I think that's awesome. That's awesome. And that's not available in GoodNotes or NoteShelf. You can just have clickable hyperlinks in Notability. So one annoying thing, and I understand this, with the new text to conversion tool, as you see it here already, once you import a text, it imports the text as, uh, as a new sticky. And what I really would like to see if they make the paper here one option to become transparent. Because this way it's just covering my my grid in the background. Maybe I don't want this. And as I said you already, and as I said uh, showed you already, it the the text is like being in Word. So you're writing there like in a Word file. Okay. So if you want to go to the other side, you have to go over there. And uh, one workaround if you write something uh, down and you convert it to text and you want to have it in 
uh, with the transparent background, you can press copy text to clipboard and then go back, go to the position where you want to put it in um, with the text tool, of course, and then well, you can imagine paste it in there. So one more thing, if you imported it like this, or maybe it's even easier to do this way, and then convert selection, and then just press this button and it will make it a task. So it's a clickable bullet point here. Did you see this actually, what I, what I did there? So you have the clickable, uh, you have the bullet point here. So whatever text you, you select, you can make a bullet point out of it. And this is a task. And then you just say done. And I think that's, that's something nice again in Notability. So if you make meeting notes, you write down your tasks and then just convert it to text and add a bullet point to it. So that's it for today for the Ask Tom video. So um, as I ask you in Instagram, in my life story, um, just tell me new questions. I will have a look around if I see anything in the comments and so on. I could answer in the video. So I see you next Sunday then, where I usually do the longer tutorials and reviews of equipment, but also new uh, note-taking apps, existing note-taking apps, no uh, workflows and so on. This will be Sunday. And then on next, next Wednesday, we will see the next Ask Tom video where I will answer your questions again. So if you want to stay tuned, I will be more than happy if you subscribe to the channel and join the paperless movement. See you next time.